Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to install AirSonic on Open Media Vault 5. Okay, so in order to do this, what we're gonna do is actually come over here to hub.docker.com. Uh, I will have this link in the description down below where you can find uh, this little uh, bit of code or schema, whatever you wanna call it, we're gonna use this. We're gonna copy this. Uh, we're gonna go over to Portainer. Uh, we're gonna go into our local here and go to stacks. And then we're going to add a stack and we're gonna just paste that in there. Now, of course, if you follow along, this will be pretty typical for how we would do this. Uh, there are some things that we'll have to take into consideration. And that would be, uh, if you followed along, we haven't added um, any kind of uh, music or podcasts or anything like that to our Open Media Vault shares. Uh, you will need to do that by going over here to shared folders, uh, adding one, uh, adding uh, music and podcasts and whatever you might need in here. Uh, you can see I've already done that. And then once you've added it here, you'll also need to go over here to SMB CIFS and go to shares and add that uh, to movies and podcasts here as well. So once you've got these uh, set up, uh, the next thing you'll wanna do is make sure you go back to shared folders. Um, if you don't have an absolute path showing up here, like I don't, uh, what we'll do is we'll come over to this header right here. We'll click the drop down. we'll go to columns, and we'll go to absolute path. And then we're gonna go ahead and just drag this over, and then we're going to uh, use some of this information in here in just a couple of minutes. So let's go back to Portainer here, and uh, let's start changing the, the things in here that we need to change like our user ID and our group ID. Um, I've, I've done this in all of the previous videos, in case you haven't watched that, I will do it again, just so that you can see uh, what it is we need for these two uh, identifiers right here. Uh, what we need to do is open PuTTY. Um, there are other ways to get this information, uh, other SSH programs, things like that, uh, but I like to use PuTTY. Uh, so I'm gonna type in my server address. I'm gonna log in. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and drag this over and I'm going to log in as root. So what I need is the um, admin ID of my portainer account. Uh, my admin name or my username is admin. So I need the user uh, ID of my admin account, which happens to be admin. So I'm just going to type in admin or ID uh, admin like that. And here we can see my UID or PUID or user ID is 998 and my group ID is 100. So I'll change this to 998. I'll change that to 100. And then I'm in America, oops, America slash Denver. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove those two lines. They're optional, so I'm not gonna use them. So now we need the path to our configuration folder here. So uh, what we can do is come back over to Open Media Vault get our uh, configuration folder line here. We can right click, go to inspect, um, and then this line will be automatically highlighted. I can just double click in there, click copy, come back over to Portainer, paste that in there and add AirSonic. Wow, I just cannot type today. So now we're gonna do basically the same thing down here, uh, but we need the path for our music folder. So, oops, we'll come back over to here. We'll come down to music. Again, we'll right click, go to inspect, copy, and come over to music and paste. We're gonna do the same thing for playlists, but it, since it's so similar, I can just type in playlists, make sure that I do have it plural there. Uh, I don't have playlists, so I'm actually going to, I'm going to uh, actually remove playlists. I don't want that. It's actually podcasts. I don't do anything with playlists. I do have her do stuff with podcasts like that, and then I'll just go ahead and remove that. Um, and the devices here are optional, so we'll go ahead and remove that just like so. Um, and you can see that we'll be accessing everything on port 4040. So uh, we'll go ahead and scroll down and click on deploy the stack. Okay, so we've got this running, so we'll come back over to containers. We'll go to our aerosonic logs, uh, and we'll just see what it's doing here. It looks like it's still working on some stuff. So we'll give this just a minute to finish up. Okay, so I think here we're good. So what I'll do is I'll open a new tab. I'll paste that in. <clears throat> and it looks like uh, it says the username and password are both admin. So we'll go ahead and paste that in. Okay, so here we are, we're logged in, we're good to go. It suggests changing the password. You can do that if you'd like. Um, and of course, over here, you can see that it's already uh, found all of uh, my music folders here. Uh, if it doesn't do that, you should be able to come into, 
uh, settings and uh, find your music folder here. Of course, it already found it uh, because we put that information in um, in Portainer when we created everything. So it should theoretically find everything. If you do need to add additional media folders, uh, you can do that as well. Um, but that's pretty much it. And that's how you set up uh, AeroSonic on Open Media Vault 5. Okay guys, there you go. Actually, it's a pretty simple process. Again, we're using stacks from uh, linuxserver.io. Uh, they've done a great job at making a lot of this stuff very, very simple. Uh, so kudos to them. I also wanna thank you guys for watching if you made it this far. Um, I think I've covered everything I wanna cover in this video. So uh, with all that being said, I am going to go ahead and wrap things up, uh, but I will encourage you to subscribe. Uh, I make a lot of videos like this as far as tutorials on how to set up different uh, containers on Open Media Vault 5. Uh, I've got some other ideas for a couple other things I want to look at here in the very near future. Uh, so if you're interested in this kind of stuff, definitely get subscribed. Um, and if you found this video helpful, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. It would help out a ton. But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.